Howdy, all you delicious people. Well, let's see, I'm just here to just kind of do a reboot. Um, realistically, there was some footage that was taken out of the story that I uh, re-went through this character anyways. And I'm now just adding to it. It's really just the tutorial. If anything, I think on the same day, I'm probably, uh, or on a later date, uh, going to get further back into the story from where it left off. Um... But t right now, today, this is just a tutorial. Um, what kind of you guys missed uh, if you uh, straight up went through this? This is a part zero. That's weirdly enough why I did that. Um, if anything, really, I am just... Um, uh, in, I, I don't believe this part, but the part after this, uh, supposedly I was uh, invited into a league. But, um, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking these things very seriously. Um, realistically, if I get booted from any league or I get kicked out from any league, oh well. Um, to me, I'm just gonna, um, still go my own path and if, uh, people want me to, uh, join, um, join whatever, join a league, join a whatever, um, people will have seen my, um, character names, uh, from either this villain story or the hero story I did, you guys can add me and invite me to whatever, um, but realize I'm not here to uh, be owned by anybody. I'm not here to. Um, I'm not here to be uh, just a number that somebody can just amass or what have you. It's just I don't know. It's just. I'm just here to have fun. I hope a lot of people are just here to have fun. Uh, if anything, it's not to be taken seriously. It's just to um, blow in 30 minutes of their day or an hour of their day or however they want to record for. But I'm not here to just... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting to... Um, excel to the masses to this game, I honestly don't care. I'm just here to play what I can play and then go out of my way to do something else. So, let's go on to the tutorial. I've probably been talking for way too long anyways. So, um, I don't know. We shall see what all we get into, we shall see what all we get going in this in this playthrough. Uh, if anything, I just saw a um, a link for a or I just saw a YouTuber today live stream, and then also uh, create a uh, Marvel character on here, um, Moon Knight. I believe his name is Enzo. Uh, I know he had a last name, but uh, it's very late in the recording. I'm very tired, and I gotta record a lot of stuff. So, uh, if anything, I'll leave a link uh, for uh, the person that I saw down below, um, uh, so that way you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm just uh, really, really tired, and uh, I'm just not completely 100% focused. Um, so just bear with me. So, yeah. Uh, so let's get on to the tutorial. Because I've talked for too long. Download successful. Again, same character, different look. Um, different powers as well. Um, yeah. Let's get on to the... Earth. The 
center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern. There is no intellect strong enough or power brutal enough to resist. Soon this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobytes are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. Yeah, if anyways, I went with fire and I went with blasting power. Uh, I play that kind of uh, ice and I play that with um, my hero character and it seemed to go really well. It seemed to, for me to get um, through things a lot quicker than what I was using previously, so I'm like, yeah, like I want to. We're here. We're going to sabotage the ship and send Brainiac a message not to mess with Lex Luthor at any point in time. You've got a weapon, right? Use it to get rid of the debris blocking the door. I want to be able to. Um. Bad news. You've got party crashers on the way. I thought you said to be quiet. I want to be able to take on more. I want to be able to, um, you push hopefully live a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, um, if anything, I uh, I do have a link down below for PayPal. Um, if you guys want to see me play some kind of DLC or something other than that. There's so much um, content on here that has uh, paywalls and what have you. Um, and there's so many powers that... Gather reinforcements. I will patrol towards the prison bay. So that is an overseer. They patrol parts of the ship and protect it from people like you. Be a pal and destroy it, won't you? That it's crazy. I don't know, I am just kind of interested, like, at a certain point, in just kind of, um... Like, I'll have stuff to, like, record here consistently. 
But I'm also like, I'm, I don't know, I'm just so interested and fascinated in this game right now. That I'm just so interested in just like creating my own... Uh, creating my own account of a hero or a villain or whatever and just kind of like uh, playing it just in my way. away from recordings. Been recruited. Brainiac is threatening our world, but only we get to do that. If you and Lex destroy the ship's central AI core, we disable the ship. Sure, Brainiac has other ships, but this puts him on notice and may slow his invasion. Just so that way I can like experiment or whatever. And uh I know that might sound um like dumb or whatever. It's like like why not just record everything that you're doing? It's like well it's like yeah, it would be great, but like realistically if there's a point when I'm playing with, um, like, other people, and I'm playing as a, an account that, um, for example, there's a hero character that I just vaguely made up, um, that of course is called, um, like, uh, Madam Midnight, which of course people can see on this channel and what have you. Um, like, I would rather, like, just have one thing, um, if I just wanted to just, stop me. um, like, all together, if I just wanted to just play, Some of our associates from um, of Doom are attacking this ship. They'll distract Brainiac and buy you some time, but don't slack off. If I just wanted to play as myself, um, or play as just, like, whatever, something that I wanted to, um, 100%, um, do or whatever, then I'll just have that account just waiting in the wings, uh, just to kind of just be like, hey, if anybody wants to, um, Play away from recording is then I have this character, I have this account already lined up. Um, because realistically, it's like there's some people that don't want to be recorded, there's some people that don't want to be whatever, and well, bam, there's there's an account for that um, already in place. Plus two, who knows how, um, well received <laughs> any of these characters will eventually be, um, like, as, uh, the character that I mentioned here, um, this character was a hero, uh, in my backstory, he was a hero, um, prior to being... Uh, a villain, so there is just kind of things where, um, like, we could talk about his, his prequel life before all this, um, and what have you, and... <laughs> If anything, I'd probably have really have to like work around all the the um, actual physical story of uh, of this game and probably just That's come up. a lot of robots. The resale value of all that alien metal would be out of this world. No pun intended. Hold on, they're starting to activate. That's not good. I'll get Professor Zoom and Sinestro over there to help you fight them. Hmm. What do they have to full on call him, Professor Zoom? Just call them Zoom. Just call them, uh, 
reverse slash. But yeah, uh, I really like the whole aspect of, um, instead of using the big true mentors, like the, the mentor, the Batman, and the whatever, you have, like, um, Flash and Green Lantern on the hero side, and you have, uh, Zoom and Sinest Sinestro here, um, kind of helping us out, but then eventually we will get to the heavy hitters, supposedly, um, even though Sinestro is a pretty heavy hitter, but, uh, I guess it's kind of showcasing, hey guys, uh, if you really want to be a, a part of the uh, Lantern Corps, then uh, look, we're showcasing Sinestro right now um, for you to see and what have you. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I, uh, I honestly had some thoughts about uh, some of the things cosmetically uh, about this game. I was thinking today, and I kind of tried to mention this on, um, I meant I like commented on the, um, I went on the DC Universe Online's like YouTube channel and a lot of the YouTube channels they have like the developers there and the heavy. Uh and I would comment on that and they probably Sinestro won't go Zoom anywhere. Off to destroy the ship's gun. Gotta respect Brainiac's commitment to overwhelming force. Zoom and Sinestro are going off to do that, so that's what they cut off said there, but uh but yeah. I mentioned it would be kinda interesting to on this video or whatever, I kind of mentioned that instead of having all these weird looking like questions... Wonderful. My readings show a full-scale invasion force aboard. We have to destroy this ship. All these question mark markers that honestly just look like really like out of place. Um, I honestly thought it would be interesting if uh, to have like an homage to characters like Superman or Dial H for Hero, um, or just a lot of other characters, you could have, like, instead of having all these weirdly placed question mark things, it'd be kind of interesting if we had, like, um, in replacing all these question mark markers, we had, like, the flash ring that he would, uh, take his suits out of, or instead of these uh, question mark markers, um, we could have phone booths, or uh, lanterns, or any number of DC-related um, units move into position. props that, been, that has been used over time, um, and it would just be in place of these markers uh, throughout the city or throughout the throughout the game. Uh, if anything, uh, then people will probably ask us like, "Well, those things might not stand How out." Dare you? I'm like, well, if you have them kind of like, like, kind of like Tron in, kind of like neon in or whatever, like they would stand out. It's just like. Cosmetically, it would just be more interesting uh, looking at these phone booths placed throughout the, the city, um, or a flash ring, or a DC prop of some kind, rather than just some oddly placed question mark thing. Um, that yeah, it sticks out, but without a doubt, it's just like I don't know. Um, it's just weird looking. But I, I think I also mentioned, like, for, like, some of these clearly, like, loading 
um, platforms. Uh, like how, uh... All units move into position. Contain the human. Hero. Like, I think in the race, like, platform, like, uh, I think it would actually be interesting if we, uh, in the platform that we just kind of put the, like, cosmic treadmill. I think that'd be really cool to, um, like, see those throughout the town, see those throughout the place. Um, either that or, like, if people ever wanted to, like, replay, um, missions, um, especially YouTubers, if they wanted to just, uh, replay... God, there's the central AI core. How did Cersei and the Joker get there before you? Uh, whatever. She's a sorceress and he's the Joker. Go help them destroy that thing. Stay alert. This is sure to get Brainiac's undivided attention. The YouTuber wanted to replay a mission just for record value. Um, they could have a cosmic treadmill um, somewhere placed and neither. There's Brainiac. God, I hate being right all the time. Scratch that. Actually, I love it. Oops, so, the ship is breaking apart, but I can't open a teleporter. Brainiac kicked me out of his systems. You'll have to defeat him if you don't want to go down with the ship. Your time is near. But yeah, um, it would just be cool to have uh, one level replayability, but then also a place you could um, do that in. Because uh, uh, Cosmic Treadmill uh, goes into the Time Force, the Time Force eventually you can go back in time and do something. Um, maybe even do it better or what have you. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, we have so many of these, um, comic book props and what have you. It would just be nice to actually be able to use them and, like, just, um, just add cleverness to the, to the whole game instead of, like, Yeah, but you're dead. <laughs> so I killed you. So I was, I was, I kind of zoomed past this tutorial, which for a lot of people that have you played it. You are stronger it. than I thought, but you've got a lot to learn. Work for me, and I will teach you how to control your new powers. Maybe even enhance them. That was intense. You've got some killer moves, seriously. Ready to leave the ship now? I'll contact you once you're on the ground. Cause even like stuff like that where it's just kind of like you going into the loan it just looks weird. Going to the teleporter. Brainiac. Just... Oh, his little games amuse me. He will never master the intricacies of magic. And now, thanks to a doomed little man in a metal suit. Magic is unleashed on Earth. Only he who cannot rule destroys. And with these new villains, magic will rule at last. Wonder Woman claims to champion the gods? <laughs> she will soon bow to me, Circe, for the age of magic. Come. Yeah, so realistically, I wasn't completely 100% aware of exactly well, where you were capable enough to get out of Brainiac's ship. Good. Welcome to Sheeta's Den. One of many nightclubs throughout Gotham and Metropolis that function as safe houses for our kind of folk. You can find all kinds of things here. I wasn't exactly 100% sure where exactly I started on the first episode I of this. I am the goddess Circe, and I am impressed. Not all of Brainiac's targets are strong enough to escape him. Turn your magic to my cause, and we will rule this planet with our power. The first step 
is destroying the strongholds Dr. Fate and his sentinels of magic have made in Chinatown. Show them they cannot stand against our might. Yeah, so I just kind of finished the first couple of levels. And then I pretty much called it a wrap because I knew, like, the Dr. Fate mission I played in the first episode. So, yeah. Um, so, if anything, you'll kind of catch up on what you guys missed. Um, if anything, this character here will be what you see going forward. Uh, maybe eventually you'll see a different look or what have you, but, um, I kind of, uh, I just kind of liked how this eventually turned out, um, because really I was just, I was looking for certain things, I was looking for something different, and... Like, I, I really didn't want something plain. I wanted something that definitely stuck out. And... But I also didn't want to fall into this the area crux was built of... over powerful occult magics, which can tip either toward good or evil. Dr. Fate has created a purified ward in the hopes of trapping the demon lord Trigon in his dimension. His sentinels of magic think their pitiful enchantments can stop us. Show them they are sadly mistaken. Villain, you will not stop my warding spell. Yeah, like, little markers like this, it would just be cool if... We just have... You can't stop all of our warding skulls. We just had like little plot markers instead of markers like that. Um, it would just be a little bit more interesting. The wards um, will be erected despite your Plus, it would get. Um, it would probably get interest for a lot of people just like. What is this? It's like, I'm not familiar with this character, and then, um... start. Now, the Sentinel base is guarded by a protective spell, which only grants access to the pure of heart. <laughs> Find Brother Blood's cultists. They'll give you something to bypass the spell. Like, if, uh, there was a part in the game where, um, if you... Um, if you had a collectible part like what I just did there, and it was a dialer, um, from, like, Dial H for Hero, then it would just be like, okay, well, why is, why don't know anything about this, what is this from, and then... You Cersei's new spell slinger. This will suck the good right out of pure-hearted civilians. Don't bother using it. And it'll get people to look now, things up. Use that gem to drain essence from the innocent. Enough essence, and you can enter the central base and steal the demonic eye of sin. Why are you doing this to me? I thought the sentinels would protect me. They're all talk. Hmm. Yeah, we just kind of swerve a lot of people. No! It hurts. Well, too bad. No, no, stop. You gotta do this a lot. Yeah, but if anything I asked, uh, cause I was unaware cause I'd never, like, horse DLC thing. Um, I kinda asked, um, a live stream, I'm like, hey, if anybody's used, like, the light powers, like, the lantern powers, like, are they just kind of, like, fun, or is it, like, really just, like, a lot of times, like, those powers are better? Like, I'm assuming every power is probably just as equal. Like, there's no, like, omnipotent thing compared to some other things, but, um, I heard that the Red Lantern, uh, power is, is, I think, probably much more OP than a lot of the other things, a lot of the other powers, but, um, I don't know. I'm still kind of hoping for, like, a Black Lantern, 
uh, DLC to eventually come out. I'm still hoping for, um, maybe for us to get, like, animal powers or animal morphing where we can morph into other animals or, um, I don't know, there's so much, there's so many things that, um, we can take Enough. from... You have all the essence you need to enter the Sentinel's base. Go there now and take what is rightfully ours. We can take from any number of books. Um, like, when I was, like, going through here, I was thinking, um, like, man, wouldn't it be cool for us to get, uh, yeah, and I think that's, yeah, that's where it ends there, because we go into, uh, the Doctor Fate, uh, level. But if anything, like, I was, like, today I kept thinking about, like, the Freedom Fighters. Man, would it be interesting if they, like, place them in here, or even just certain characters from, that are, uh, known from the free, Freedom Fighters, like the Ray, or, like, Uncle Sam, or what have you. Um, and to have, like, the Ray, who has, like, powers of light and stuff like that, and, um, like... For you to be able to have certain powers um, change or improve or what have, what have you um, simply by going outside of the environment. Um, perfect example, like the Ray. Um, when he would go outside, of course, being in the light, um, all of a sudden his powers would just become charged and he would just start doing his superhero thing. Um, of course, then going inside, like, he didn't do anything. Uh, kind of like, like, Kryptonians. You would think, like, uh, with Kryptonians being outside, which I'm kind of confused that we don't have, like, a Kryptonian kind of power set. Um, but I guess that's just one thing I guess they didn't want to, uh, implement right away to not give somebody, like, superhero or Superman powers right away. Um, because, yeah, uh, you'd be overpowered and what have you, but still, if you just put it as a DLC, um, whatever. Uh, anyways, like, I think it would just be cool to have, like, environmental adjustments of power. Um, like, frickin' I fought, uh... Uh, Supergirl, and man, is she freaking OP. Um, but the only thing is that I thought was kind of dumb was just the fact that she used her, um, like, heat vision way too often. Um, and it just became ridiculous to me. I'm like, Okay, s neither Superman nor Supergirl nor Superboy or whatever relied on their heat vision so heavily, uh, it, it honestly doesn't make any sense. And plus two, to have a character that they aren't aware if um, they would kill this person by using their heat vision, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, if anything, like, this character should use... Uh, everything but their heat vision, uh, considering the whole, like, killing of Doomsday in the Justice League comic book, or cartoon, and what have you, and, yeah, like, uh, I don't understand how, uh, any of our characters, uh, put into place could be, um, much more, uh, kind of deflective of he vision and doomsday wasn't um or yeah he was killed by it in one of the stories so it's just yeah um but it is what it is and this episode was what it was so uh if anything if one valuable thing could come out of it each one of these episodes is just more thought processes processes and how we can improve this game and how um, every in episode will be just interesting, just based off of that. But I'm going to, interestingly enough, get out of here and say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.